All right, what's up, y'all? So I'm going to show you how to link and sync an Evinrude Johnson outboard. So I'm working on 1986 Evinrude 150 XP, and um, it's going to vary depending on your make and model, but year, you know. But this is going to get you really close, and it should help. So if y'all missed the last video where we um, changed the trigger timer base, then check it out up here. But this video is going to be cut and dry. It's going to be do this, bam, 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 because we're not wasting any time, and this is not very fun to do. Um, we're going to have to check all the linkages, make sure the throats of the carbs, the, the throttle plates are sitting completely horizontal. We got to check the pickup timing. Um, we got to, you know, check the idle. We got to check the wide open throttle timing, uh, adjust the trigger timer base to make sure the wide open throttle timing is set right. So there's a lot of stuff to check, but we're going to get to it. Let's go guys. Muffs check. Timing light cylinder one check good battery check timing light hooked up check gas check remote control in neutral completely straight up check all right so make sure the butterflies in the carbs are completely closed with it in neutral at idle like that so they're all the way closed put it wide open all the way down all the way all right, so make sure at wide open throttle that the carb butterflies are completely horizontal. You see how perfectly horizontal they are? Completely horizontal. Not underextended and not overextended. Underextended isn't, you know, full throttle and overextended is just as bad. Make sure they're 100% flat. You need to rule out and you need to adjust all of this before we set the timing on anything. So this is first. I'm going to show you guys how to adjust this. All right, so if you need to adjust your car butterflies, you got to play with it sometimes. What There's a trick you can do. What you can do is you can disconnect this right here and totally disconnect the motor from the boat. Adjust everything, then adjust this so that it's good up at the controls. So it goes all the way down, hook it back up once the motor is set. That rolls out the boat's controls and just gets this set and then you adjust the boat's controls to fit the motor. So, loosen screw one, loosen screw two, loosen screw three. I'm not gonna do it because this is already set. When you do that, let them snap shut, okay? Let them snap shut with it, you know, like this, the, the timing tree up and the remote control in the center position. So they're closed. This is like, you know, neutral, idle. At neutral idle, timing tree up, snap closed, snap closed, snap closed. Tighten the screws. Okay. All right, now we're going to familiarize ourselves with the timing controls. Wide open throttle timing screw right here. Okay, this is the most critical adjustment right here. Um, pickup timing adjustment screw right here. Second most critical. Idle control screw right here. Third most critical. And then there's a little stop screw here that uh, you know helps get it set so that it all stops properly against here. That doesn't need to be adjusted that often. Um, right here, we have this roller on here. Make sure your roller's good. It's a little plastic roller. So the whole idea is we want this right here, this scribe line, to be at the center of that roller. In neutral, at idle, okay? All right, so timing pointer right here. See the triangle? What I've done is I've painted the flywheel where I need it. So this one, wide open throttle. You can't read it, but I can read it. 28, 12, 8, 4. Um, same deal over here, cylinder 2. 20, 28, 12, 8, 4. You paint them because they're easier to read. They stand out. So wide open throttle on this engine, 1986 Evinrude. 150 XP, 28 degrees. All right, so here's your TDC tool, top dead center tool I made a long time ago. If you want to check out that video, check it out up here. All right, guys, so to adjust the timing pointer here, you can see this timing pointer has adjustments on it. You can unscrew it and move it around and stuff. So basically what it's got to do is, the manual says go past TDC, inch and a half, and that's 16 right here. I got a little pencil mark, and this is going to be different for every make and model, but it's going to get you close. So once you mark it, we get that TDC tool and I'll show you what we're going to do with that. 
insert the TDC tool. And now you just screw it in until it lightly touches the top of the piston. Hold it down. Make sure all your spark plugs are disconnected on both sides. Rotate the flywheel all the way around clockwise until we get back to that mark. It's going to come in a different spot and stop at a different spot. But you got to go clockwise and you're going to feel the flywheel stop right when we hit the mark. It's coming up. There it is. It stopped right there. So you can see I've already done it. What we do is mark that. That looks like it's a 16 too, but just coincidence. So we got a little pencil mark right there. On to the next step. All right, so now you get an uh, old zip tie. Put it at the start of the first mark. Put it on second mark right there. And then we got to get something to measure the distance between the two marks. Find the middle. All right, so I found the middle right there. Remove the piston stop tool. All right, so now we know where the middle is. You can see there's our first mark. There's our second mark. This is our midpoint, and we check it. And man, that thing lines up perfectly, perfectly with TDC. Right there. So, say it comes up short. Say it lands on that little tick right there. If it lands on that, it comes up short. Rotate it over. Hold the flywheel here. Loosen the screw. Point it at TDC. Tighten the screw. Timing pointer is adjusted. Say it comes up to that little mark, the midpoint. Hold the flywheel there by hand. Loosen the screw. Point it to TDC. Tighten the screw. All right, this thing's adjusted. Throttle amplifier tool. Want to check out the video? Check it out up here. So the throttle amplifying tool goes to the top of the first carb and you can see it does exactly what the name says. It amplifies the throttle so if you move it a little bit down here it moves it a lot up there. It's just like a little flag that'll help you uh, tune the thing. Start it and we're going to try the timing light right here to check up the pickup timing. It's, you know, the carbs are closed. All right, so here's the pickup timing adjustment right here. And after you checked it with the timing light, it's probably gonna either need to be screwed in or out to advance or retard the timing. So you just adjust it with this little wheel right here and then recheck it with the timing light and do it a couple times until you get it right. So it was at eight degrees, uh, manual says seven plus or minus. I'm leaving it alone because it's fine. All right, so the idle RPM for this engine in gear, in the water, it has to be done in gear in the water so there's back pressure or else it won't read right, is 650 RPM plus or minus 50 RPM. All right, so here's the idle screw right here. So we set this after we set the pickup timing and sometimes it hits the engine right here and you can't adjust it in and out. You need to adjust it in and out to set all this stuff because it hangs up. So basically, once you get all this adjusted, you gotta put this back to where it was. And this is set in forward gear in the water with a prop hooked up and everything like ready to go idling you know moving forward and you need a good tack you can use a tack on the boat or you can use one of those little you know tacks the digital ones that clamps on the spark plug lead but this one is set to 650 rpm plus or minus 50 rpm um, and basically you screw it in it increases the idle you screw it out it decreases the idle and that's going to play with the pickup timing a little bit. It's going to move it forward or backwards, you know, retard it or advance it, depending on how much you move the screw in and out. But you don't readjust the pickup timing. You just leave it wherever it sits, pretty much, because you can, you can only adjust one or the other, you know. So that's just one of those settings that's got to kind of be good enough. Okay, so this is cylinder one. When we check the wide open throttle, we're going to check cylinder one. Timing light cylinder one. Check cylinder two. Put the timing light on cylinder two. So when we do this, 
we're gonna set it. So if this one reads 30 degrees, this one reads 34 degrees, you're gonna wanna adjust the highest one to the spec. So if the timing spec is 28 degrees, adjust the 34 down to 28. So for instance, this one reads 30, this one reads 32. You adjust the screw. This one reads 28, this one reads 30. You still gotta go more. Get the highest number to match your spec. That way you're safe. All right, here's the pickup timing for this model. Here's an overview. Uh, there's the degrees, seven degrees plus or minus one degrees before top dead center. Okay, so there's that. Max advanced timing, wide open throttle timing for this model. There's that. It says 32 degrees plus or minus one. Um, I believe that was for gas back in the 80s or whenever this was written, 1986. And it, well, there was a service bulletin that said set it to 28 degrees nowadays. So that's what we're going with. That's what it was set to before. Um, there's the specs. Look up your specs for your model, your making model. Don't go off of these. This is for a 1986 Evinrude 150 XP. I have the original service manual. These things are worth buying. Get one on eBay. All right, guys, so it's time to set the wide open throttle timing. Basically, I got it rigged up here. Um, timing light. We're going to shine it right here. And I'm going to sit in the seat right here. I might have my dad drive the boat uh, while I get it tuned up. So let's see how that goes, guys. All right, guys, so basically we're out here now. It's nice and dark, but... um. You see this screw right here? So what you're gonna wanna do is, and the reason I'm doing this at night is because you can see the pointers way easier at night. You see how they just glow like that? You can see them way easier, especially with the timing light. There's no sun. Um, but basically this is the screw and we're gonna adjust this thing after we check it a couple times. So basically you screw it in, it retards the timing. You screw it out, it advances the timing. So the smaller the gap here, the more retarded the timing, the larger the gap, the more advanced the timing is. So right now it's reading like, uh, it's reading, you know, in the high 30s, like really high. So we got to screw it in, um, screw it in to retard the timing. But you're just going to do this a couple times, you know, five times, six times going wide open throttle. And eventually you'll get it dead, dead on. But that's what you got to do. Trial and error. Just keep adjusting it down, down, down or up, up, up until you get that pointer. Man, get that pointer pointing right at whatever um, the timing is for that engine. All right, guys, this thing's running great. I'll check y'all out on the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below for more boat videos in the future. Peace.